We're here with Angela in the Hobbico booth this morning. We're standing in front of a couple of little, beautiful little micros. Angela, what can you tell me about these? This is Hobbico's latest thing. It'll be out later this summer. Um, this, it's a different system, something different you've never seen before. Um, everything is centered around this power core. This is the power core. Everything, all the electronics are all focused on this one element. Um, electronic speed control, your receiver, servos, and then all of these bars here have magnets on them and that you basically you take the power core from one airframe to the next. So this is your investment. You invest into the, the actual power core and then you just buy airframes. Once you have the power core then you can buy, with, these are our first three airframes. Um, you have a trainer that will be available the P51 and the ME109. And then the power core just slides in and out. That is slick. Everything automatically aligns because there's magnets. So all you have to do is slip it back in and it'll all click into place and completely line up. You throw the canopy back on and you're ready to fly. So a module that we can just pull out of a trainer and stick into a Warbird and everything is right there in it. Yep. All the, everything is all aligned with these magnetic rods. And so you don't have to do, this is actually a great crossover product for somebody just getting into the hobby because you don't have to think. You don't have to make any adjustments or anything like that. It's already done for you. Right. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything but plug in the module. Just plug it in. Um, and later, we, I mean, we're looking at a glider. Um, we're looking at a lot of different um, planes to come in the future as well. I would think the possibilities could be endless. That's, that's the plan. Does this run on one cell, two, two cells? cells. It is two a two cell. cell. It's a two cell. Um, it's actually similar to the ba same battery that goes into our F-86. Nice. And obviously a brushless motor. Brushless. And individual servos but rat, not, not servos that are built into the board, but actual individual proper servos. Yep. And so if you have a problem with the servo, you'll, we'll have individual spare parts too. If that's what you want to do, you can certainly tinker with that. Um, or if you just want to buy a new power core, make it easy and you can just go buy a new power core. Beautiful. And this will be like an a la carte system. So you can get the individual components. What kind of, what kind of price are we talking for? the components. Well, again, um, and a lot of these prices still have yet to be determined because this is not out yet. It should be out later this summer. Um, the investment will be in the power core, so the power core will be the most expensive element. You're probably 80, 90-ish is, uh, is what we're looking at. Um, and then the individual airframes um, will probably be in the 40 or $50 range, um, at, at least projected at this point. Um, I, I can't imagine the airframes will be any more. They might be a little less. Okay, but still, we're looking at a, a couple of couple of months down the road yet till these yeah, are in the Yeah, probably July, August. July, August is what we're looking at. Um, and these are the first three airframes, and then we have three more that are already in development um, that'll be coming. Will be released quickly thereafter. Um, looking at the Spitfire, um, the Zero, and the Folkwolf. Well, that's beautiful, Angela. Thank you so much oh, for having us you. here this morning.